In this video, we're going to talk about an if statement. And an if statement is by default one of the most powerful lines of code you can ever write because it's really what controls uh, how you want things to happen automatically. So for example, if you press the up key, you want your character to move up. If you press space, you want your character to jump. If the score equals 10, you want the game to end. If you reach a certain point in a level, you want a music to start playing. So basically, it's like saying, if something happens, I want something else to happen. And again, that happens over and over and over again in countless instances. So it's pretty simple to use an if statement. Right now, let me just show you what the code I have here is. Uh, I very simply have almost what the, the standard program is that comes up every time you make a, a new program. And that's just an ellipse that follows the mouse around. Um, I have an ellipse that has no fill black background here, and a green stroke. So whenever I move the mouse, the ellipse moves around. And what I want to do is every time I move the mouse, um, the color changes as I progress across the screen. So right now, here I have my stroke set to be green. And I'm going to leave that. But I'm going to say if, parenthesis, open parenthesis, and what goes inside your parenthesis of the if statement, notice how if is actually blue. Um, it's whatever you want to occur in order to make a line of code happen. So for example, if mouse x is greater than 200, close my parenthesis, open a bracket, and notice how it's automatically indented. I'm just going to move the ellipse down here so it's out of the way. If mouse x is greater than 200, well, I can make something happen, like stroke uh, could now be red. So we have if, parenthesis, mouse x is greater than 200, parenthesis, stroke should be greater or equal to, stroke should now become red. So let's see what happens here. Stroke is green, and as I progress across the screen, once I cross over 200, it goes from green to red, and it stays red for the rest of the screen here. So if it's less than red, we already set it to green before, once I go over 200 pixels, it's now red. And I could keep this up if I copy and paste this. Let's just copy this line of code and say, okay, if mouse is greater than 600, I can make it, let's say, blue. So now let's see, we have green, red, blue. And maybe, let's just finish it off here. If mouse... is greater than a thousand let's make it white green oops a thousand not a hundred green red blue white so there you go so again we're using if statements to make things happen automatically as your program goes on. And again, it could genuinely be anything. Key presses, scores, whatever it is, you need to know how to use an if statement correctly in order to make that happen. So it's very simply if, parentheses, the parameter that you want to occur, then inside the brackets, whatever code you want to happen here. And it can be more than one statement. You could have multiple things happen uh, inside an if statement. That's perfectly fine. This parameter, this is called your operator, and there's a few different operators you can pick from for an if statement. If you go to the reference guide, you can see, let me scroll down and find it here, underneath if statements, right here. If something is greater than something, if something's less than something, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, equal to, notice how it's double equal sign, and not equal to. So you can use any one of these inside an if statement uh, in order to write your code. And that's certainly enough to go ahead and do just about anything inside your programming language.